Hello, hello, my loves. Welcome, welcome in. Come on in, y'all. It is a good day. It is your girl, Gabrielle Reyes, and we are back in the kitchen, my loves. We vibing, we singing, we cooking, and I've already made some delicious treats because, you know, I'm hungry. <laughs> And it's time for me to dig on in. So the first thing I have here is actually some Jamaican rice and peas or coconut rice and peas. And then I have my sweet potato stuffing. Both of these recipes are actually in my cookbook, Colorful Home Cooking with Your Girl, Gabrielle Reyes. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That maple butter sauce. Wow, wow. And I got two other things too. One of them we're gonna be making, but the other thing I got here, hopefully y'all can see this, look at this. Mm. Jamaican purple stew. You know what to do. So let me get a little sip of this and then we'll be able to cook up our meaty mushrooms. Mm. Wow. Okay, so this is my traditional Jamaican purple stew recipe but I actually blended down all the ingredients to create more of like a pureed sauce in a sense, so I could use it for other things. But it's so, so good. It's got all that rich flavor. So if you want this recipe, you can get it in my cookbook, Colorful Home Cooking with Gabrielle Reyes on my website, y'all. I got you. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty good, especially all this together. Ooh. Mmm. So warm, so hearty. I used purple potatoes, which I'll actually show you. These right here are oob, I believe you can also call them oob potatoes. These right here, they're purple. They're, if you see inside, you can kind of see inside of them, you see how purple they are, that deep, rich color. Y'all see that? That's what gives it that vibrancy. And I love to use them in so many different recipes because that color and the flavor too is really nice. Mmm. I'm gonna eat all of this. Like literally y'all gonna watch me eat. We're gonna answer some questions, but I just wanted to let y'all know what we are doing today. So right here, like I said, I got my Jamaican rice and peas. I got my sweet potato stuffing, sweet potato stuffing, which is so bomb. And let me get one more sip. Mm. Y'all gotta make this. This is not a joke, all right? Now, first things first, I have some mushrooms right here you can use any mushrooms honestly this is kind of like an any mushroom seasoning that's going to be really delicious but since i had these mini portobello mushrooms that's what i'm using today and i'm actually going to show you all my favorite way to cut up a portobello mushroom i like to turn them into almost like square bites so what i do is i have my mushroom here and i just cut off all of the rounded sides and we're still going to cook those rounded sides but these pieces right here has that nice meaty piece. Now, if you're making skewers, this is really nice too because you can add all those pieces to the skewer and then you can also add on these pieces as well. So you have a nice extra, oh, hello there. You have all these extra pieces that you can use too. So I'm gonna cut up a few more of these and then we're gonna create our sassy sauce and then we're gonna cook it down and then I'm gonna have a full on feast, y'all. Mm. So feel free to ask me any questions. I've been eating plant-based since I was two thousand since 2011. I was in college and I was like, you know what? I can't be doing this no more. I can't be ingesting this suffering, this pain. Things have got to change. Oh, so that's kind of short and quick story about how I became a plant-based vegan chef. And I love to create new recipes every single day. My favorite recipes, I have like top, like a top 10 couple recipes that I really like. And I would say most of them are Caribbean or Jamaican, Haitian, Puerto Rican. I also really like Italian food too. Look at that cute little cute square thing. Mm -hmm. And then I like the reason I mainly like this is because it kind of has that like the meaty texture really stays true to form whenever you cut them into little squares or cubes or even rectangles. And this is great also if you are using the large portobello mushrooms. And also, fun fact, fun tip, there are over a thousand different variations of edible mushrooms. Y'all, okay, now I'm not saying you should go out and just pick up whatever mushrooms you see outside of your door. You should actually research which mushrooms are edible, which mushrooms aren't edible because 
you know, you don't want to hurt yourself looking for a good mushroom situation. Personally, I love going to the farmer's market. I have a local farmer's market that I love to go to that has a variation of different kinds of mushrooms. That way it's more sustainable in the sense that it's number one coming from local vendors, local farmers who are trying to make their business work. So thus, I, since I'm in the community, I'm giving back to the community and they always taste so good because they're fresh and they're juicy and they're huge. In fact, let me show y'all these delicious mushrooms. Where are they at? These huge, huge mushrooms. Look at this. Y'all see this right here? This right here. I believe this is the oyster mushroom. I think it's a variation of an oyster mushroom. Look at this. Look at this. Y'all see this? Imagine, imagine even just, you could make like, I would say four, four sandwiches probably with this piece right here. And this was about 20 bucks. So that's not too bad. That is not too bad for decadence. In fact, each one of these little pieces right here, you could fry up and just crisp it into something so delicious. So isn't that so fierce, y'all? I love it. Now, Ace, I believe he's gonna make some Jamaican recipe with all of that. And he's gonna make, I think he said either brown stew or oxtail. I think I mentioned something with oxtail, but I think he was saying he was gonna do brown stew. But with those kind of mushrooms, I love to create anything that has like that chickeny texture or even like a pork texture if you're looking for something like that. Now, people sometimes ask me, they're like, girl, why do you call it chicken, pork, fish? For me, it just makes it easier for me to tell you exactly like what it's gonna taste like. You know, it's like, okay, this is gonna taste like beef. This is gonna taste like chicken. Feel free to call it whatever you want to. You can do little quotes if you want to, but for me, it's just easier to the point, boom, boom, boom. That way we can easily communicate. If it ain't for you, it ain't for you. And that's okay. It is for me. And that's all good too. So live your life, live your dreams. All right, now we're going to make a very delicious sauce, my loves. So get out a mixing bowl, get out yourself a whisk, get out yourself some vegetable broth, and just add in, I would say no more than a cup. You don't need that much. This is mostly to help all those ingredients bind together. And the next thing we want to add in is some ketchup, which let's chit chat about this incredible ketchup right here. This is made out of 100% vegetables. So make sure your ketchup has no high fructose corn syrup. It ain't for your body. You don't need to be putting no high fructose corn syrup in your body, so mm -mm, don't be doing that. The other thing in here is some plant-based Worcestershire sauce, or W sauce, as I like to call it. And then I also have some liquid smoke, just a splash of liquid smoke. You don't really need that much. Now add that all into your vegetable broth. Make sure you get all of that in there. And then the next ingredient, I love to add in a little splash of some sweetness. So add in about one tablespoon of some maple syrup. Maple syrup. <laughs> Come on, and you gotta sing that too, whatever you added in. Okay, don't play games with it. Oh, and also fun fact about this vegetable broth, this is a no beef, no beef, <laughs> technically, right? They call it beef too vegetable broth and it actually has uh, herbs like fennel in there and rosemary and thyme. So explore, let your palate fly free. Now the other fun thing I wanna add in here is some Dijon mustard. This is gonna give it a nice little tanginess in there and really give it that umami full flavor as if the mushrooms didn't have enough of that. But we just really want these mushrooms to come through with the flavor. In fact, I'm gonna put that in there. Yeah, so I can get all that Dijon mustard. Whiskey, you whiskey Now, this is where we add in all of our dry seasonings and spices. What I have in here is some steak seasoning. You can use whatever, honestly, some all spice seasoning, some, I would say some cracked pepper in there. What else? We got some cayenne pepper, smoked paprika, but sometimes it's easiest just to buy some seasonings in bulk. Just make sure it's 100% made out of herbs and spices, dried herbs and spices. And then I also have some smoked paprika. So let's add in about one tablespoon of all of that and whisk that all together into our sauce. Now that this is all whisked together, this is gonna be our marinade sauce for our mushrooms. Let's set that aside. And the next thing, we're gonna get out our pan and do what we can 
AKA saute up this delicious mushroom situation. So let me get it out right now. My little girl burner, she gonna do good today, I know. She gonna act right and tight. There she go. Oh, look at her, she made her appearance. Enter from stage left. All right, so here she is. Now let me go get myself a little thing that I can use. Boop, 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 boop. Tongs is what we call them. Now I have a little oil in here, as you can see. Now you don't have to use oil, you can use vegetable broth as well. And the first thing I want is to grab my sage I'm gonna kind of fry up the sage just a little bit in that oil to release all that full, fabulous flavor. Y'all see that? Y'all see that cooking right there? Mmm, that's already good. Mm -hmm. In fact, I have some oil. Y'all know as soon as that sage hits your senses, it is a spiritual situation, okay? How's that for alliteration? How is that? Now let me make sure this is all the way up. I'm all the way up. Yes, it is, yes it is. All right, so that sage is gonna cook down for a little bit. And then once she is nice and hot and a little bit fried up, she don't have to be fried fully in there, I'm going to add in my mushrooms. And as you can see, I've chopped up my mushrooms in these little cubes. Some pieces aren't in cubes, but we'll just do all the cube pieces for right now. And then we'll add it to our delicious bowl and I'll sit down and I'll be able to eat and enjoy all that soup. In fact, while these are frying, I might have to get myself Another little sip of some soup, y'all. Ooh, so good. Mmm. Wow. And I put pomegranates in it too, so it's got that nice little bite in there. Mmm. Wow. This is a blessing. <laughs> to my spirit, soul, taste buds. Mmm. Wow. Blessed be. All right. So now. Mmm, mmm, so good. Let's add in our mushrooms. I'm gonna add these little squares in first. Oh, y'all hear that sizzle, hear that sing? Right, let me turn up a little music. Ooh, hey, hey. True trust is Hey, true trust hey, 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 come on. All right, so I'm gonna add in all of my square pieces. That should be good enough for right now. I'm just making enough for my little bowl I got over here. And I'm just gonna make sure all that oil and that sage mixes in there and all these pieces get nice and cooked up on all, that, all the sides. And then once they're kind of grilled on every single side just a little bit, we're gonna toss in all of our sassy, savory sauce that we made. And, oh, the scents are so good. The smells are fabulous. Y'all better add sage or rosemary or thyme. Add something in there to make it really come together and give you that nice wintry flavor too. Mm. Yo. And honestly, if you don't like portobello mushrooms, try oyster mushrooms. Try king trumpet mushrooms. There's so many different kinds of mushrooms, y'all. Give it a chance, give it a go, give it a glow. Oh, and a fun fact, if you want to add some more protein into your dish, something I would do is if you're eating this like with a soup, which it's so good with the soup, the full experience, what you can do is you can blend up either some like silken tofu, which has a ton of protein in it, or you can also blend up some cheese or lentils and add that as well into the soup. That way it's just like creamier, more decadent, and it's protein packed. Got some nice fiber in there as well. I got you, y'all. Hey, 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 come on, come on. Hey, hey, it's a just hey, 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 Yes, okay. This is smelling fabulous, y'all. Wow. All right, I'm gonna take a question or two. I was just trying to, to sing your vegan barbecue rib sing to my friends this weekend. I love that. Juicy vegan baby back ribs. Meaty magic is the best here. Juicy vegan baby back ribs. I love them that seasoning here. Yes, that song is a vibe. What ingredients? I'll be like vibing out to it. It's got like 90s kind of vibes to it. Mm, I love it. So yes, please keep singing that song. Please. Oh. Come on, this is a party. 
My lights have been going in and out, and I told myself, I said, if they go out again, I'm gonna switch the cord, and then I did switch the cord because they did go out again, and then this cord is also doing this, but it's all good, we gonna get it figured out. Typically this happens, I think sometimes it's because of the angle in which I use the light, but y'all don't worry yourself with all that. Come on, cook, vibe, dance. All right, I love when you sing while you cook. Oh my goodness, you do that when you're cooking. You just be like, oh, don't be ashamed. Do not be ashamed to sing your song. All right, let me see if I can make this thing work a little bit better. Or I might put in the other one. Who knows, y'all? Stay tuned, stay tuned. Let's see. Let's have the other one on deck, just in case. Just in case we gotta make a transition real quick. Hey, hey, hey. There she goes. All right, if it goes out, of, you know what? I'm just gonna give this one a go and see how that goes. Oh, there she goes. All right, so that one's working. Beautiful. Hey, beautiful, beautiful. Somebody asked me what I'm making. I'm making a feast of flavor. Like, other than that, I really don't know. And somebody else asked me where I got my outfit. This right here, my mother-in-law gave to me from a vacation. I don't know where from. This, my sister-in-law, Unlocked Artistry, which I'll probably tag in this video as well. Um, she made these for me and I have so many different colors, variations, I love it. And then the skirt, I think I got this at Buffalo Exchange or from like a theater. A lot of my clothes I get from theaters. Oh, this as well. Oh no, 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 this one, this one's from the farmer's market. Farmer's market is one of my favorite places to shop because some of the stuff is so unique. <gasps> Somebody else asked me, sing your song, do your dance on all times. Yes, you gotta sing your song, do your dance, and speak your truth at all times. You glow, girl. Thank you. Y'all, y'all are spreading the love, spreading the light. I'm trying to give it back to you and share what's right. And then speaking of sharing what is right, these smell so fabulous, which means I think it's time for us to slowly incorporate our little sassy, savory sauce we got right here. So let's just add in a little bit to the pan and let it kind of soak in there a little bit. Ooh, yes. Get in there. Ooh, y'all, it smells so good. The mushrooms were smelling so fabulous just by themselves with the rosemary, but now they've got that nice little smokiness to there, that saltiness, that sweetness, that savoriness. So I'm gonna let these cook on down for a little bit. In fact, I'm gonna get something to cover these that way. They will soak up all that sauce perfect. They will soak up all that sauce quickly. I love that. Hey, I'm gonna keep this on the side. And in fact, y'all, I'm gonna go grab a seat so that I can eat <laughs> this delicious food. Hey, oh, it smells so good. It smells just hearty and meaty and decadent. Mm. All right, this way I can cook if I need to cook, but I can also eat. I'm hungry, and I can also answer y'all's questions too. Oh, here's my soup right here. All right. <laughs> but the only problem with sitting down from all the way over here is I can't, I can't reach. My arms ain't long enough no more. Mm. I should definitely keep a napkin nearby, for sure, for sure. Somebody asked me, why are you doing this? <laughs> Honey, sometimes you get called by the universe just to exist. You know what I'm saying? To come on, speak a little truth, sing a little dance, do a little dance. Do a little dance. Do a, do, sing a little song, do a little dance, speak a little truth. I don't even know what do a little dance would be or could be, so I'm good with keeping that over there. But yeah, I've been doing this since... 2020, actually 2018 is when I started doing live streams and then 2020 is when I started doing them consistently and it's just, it's just fun, it's freeing. Just freeing just to be able to share, sing, cook, <gasps> smell delicious food, Ooh. and show y'all how easy it is to eat plant-based and make things delicious, okay? Yes, oh look at that, she's soaking in. Mm -hmm. I like to give them a good flip just to make sure all that sauce is soaking in there. Yes. 
Cook on down, girl. Cook on down. So as I talk to my food, if you cannot tell, I'll be speaking to him. I'm like, yes, girl. Do your thing, girl. I love. So what did I make? Yes, I just took. I'm making a feast of flavor. I'm making rice and peas. I did make some sweet potato stuffing. What I'm making right now are some marinated meaty mushrooms. And then I have a delicious Jamaican purple soup stew. <laughs> soup stew. Soup stew soup. Something like that. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good, y'all. It's got spiciness, it's got sweetness, creaminess. Mm. Wow. Mm. Beautiful. Mm. I'm not even vegan, but I feel like I am addicted to your videos. Blessed be. Well, you should start Come along and cook the recipes, okay? We have a good time, honestly. I love making my videos. I made so many videos last week. I'm making so many next week. I love it, y'all. It's so much fun just to share good food. Like, we be eating good. Like, the food is delicious. And I just want people to know and if I can do it by being my absolute favorite self, favorite version of myself, y'all. Honestly, that's how you know you are existing in your highest truth is when you have found yourself waking up daily and being like, Ah, another day existing in my truest truth, existing in my oneness, in myself, and being totally cool with that. That's how you know you've unlocked the key to joy in life. Okay, I'm not playing games with it. I know. All right, let's see what she got going. Ooh, she cooking up. Mmm. She's sizzling. And the thing is about mushrooms too, they kind of shrink down. In fact, I'm gonna add in some of my other mushroom pieces. That way. I can just have the best of all the worlds because all this is going to cook down and be very, very delicious. So might as well just make even more. The more, the merrier. <gasps> and look at all these pieces. Yes, I didn't even know I had this many. Wow. Oh, girl. She didn't know. She didn't even know. <laughs> she wasn't paying attention. I'm going to let all that liquid soak up in there too. This seasoning smells good, y'all. And that rosemary, that was a really good idea. I ain't gonna lie. All right, looks good, yes. It looks and smells and tastes good too. Mm -hmm. But all that marinade. Mushrooms are all about that marinade. Don't eat a mushroom unless it's been marinated. Some people like to fry their mushrooms without marinating them. Don't do that. You should definitely let your, if you're gonna, Fry like vegan fried chicken and deep fry your oyster mushrooms. I really suggest that you marinate them in some either vinegar and some hot sauce and a little bit of maple syrup or barbecue sauce. Some pickle juice to me is the best, but you know, work with what you got. Work with whatever you got, but make sure you marinate them in something acidic, something sweet, and something hot, like spicy. That way it'll just taste really, really good. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all, y'all just watch me eat this soup. It is so good. Mm. Wow. So everything that goes in the soup, there's carrots, potatoes, onion. I believe there's tomatoes in this as well. Mm. Coconut milk. Flavor is fire. I actually added in just a little bit of some pumpkin puree in there too. Ooh, it was good. It is really, really good. It is fire. <laughs> oh god. The flavor is just the right amount of heat. Mmm. It's like every time you Take a bite, you want more after. It's like, as if the best tomato soup, pumpkin soup, and potato soup came together. Mm. Wow, and it's like the perfect temperature. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. I'll be cooking good food, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. I will not deny. What is true? Ooh. 
Mushroom looking good. Mushroom looking good. Mushroom looking good. Get into my mouth. Over real. All right, I think it's time for me to pull out some of these delicious and decadent mushrooms. You can cook them down until they're crispy if you really want to. But for me, I'm trying to eat y'all. I'm trying to sit, chit chat, eat, feast, vibe. You know what I'm saying? So let me just move this off to the side real quick. And we're gonna fill up our plate with everything that is great. Yeah, you said it, you know, you know how it go. And I'm gonna dig on in y'all. All right, so here is my Jamaican rice and peas and my sweet potato stuffing. And I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna add my mushrooms on top. And then I might even add on a little splash of some greenery in there too, just to make it look cute. <gasps> Let's just put it right down the middle. How about that? Oh, I like it. I like it. I'm not mad at it. Oh, and I'm gonna do a little squeeze of some little white ranch on top. Mm, a little crema. Actually, this isn't true ranch. This is like jalapeno juice and plant-based um, mayonnaise because I didn't feel like making a whole ranch. <laughs> I was like, you know, we just gonna do this. It's good enough. And it's so good, okay? If you need a quick little dip, jalapeno sauce like uh, pickled jalapenos and then some plant-based mayonnaise or even some hummus is really good too so there we go and ooh, let me add on a little drizzle of our soup just because it's got that nice little color and i know the flavor is fierce Ooh, i'm mad at it how about another drizzle yes Ooh, it's kind of pink in here it's called jamaican purple stew but it's kind of pink in here now I'm gonna add on a little drizzle of my white sauce. Oh, and then let me get some freshness too. I think this is mint. Oh, I love mint on top of things. Truly mint, green onion, parsley. I would say those are my top favorite. And then for anything Italian, I love doing like a basil or sage, sometimes even like a crispy little sage on top. Very nice. All right, y'all. Mm. Here we go. A bowl of abundance and blessings. Now it's time for us to dig on in. Let me get a bite. All right, I'm gonna get some of this mushroom now. Mm. 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 Okay. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I have so many feelings. Cause it's not too overly seasoned. And I didn't think I would like that, but I actually really like how it's the mushroom flavor is still there, but it's still got that little sweetness, little spiciness, little smokiness to that. Mm. 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 Mm -mm. Mm. Mm. Wow. With the rice and peas. Ooh, with the rice and peas. Whoa, it's next level. It's good. Mmm, me. Mmm. I'm hot. Mmm. Wow. It's hot, but it's so good at the same time. Wow, this is so good. All right, I'm gonna build up my bowl again. Ooh, get some of that extra sauce in there too. Let me get the rest of my mushrooms in here because they came out so cute. That's what I love too is like, it's nice to have those cubed mushrooms, but all these extra pieces look cute too. The cubed mushrooms, that's more, you know, if you gotta tell somebody, oh yeah, it's like the kebabs, right? Or like, these are like the, if I wanted to add it to like a stew, that's how I'd chop it up too. <gasps> that rhymed. <laughs> If I wanted to add it to the stew, I'd chop it up that way too. Now where's my, ooh, purple potato soup. Mmm. That was incredible. Mmm. Wow, the flavor. Here she goes. Beautiful. She's gonna get some photos after this, y'all. She's gonna have a cute little photo shoot. So we're gonna get her ready. In fact, I'm gonna get some, a little bit more of my plants from my little garden in the back over here. Let's see. 
think my mint is over on this other one. Let me get a little piece of some mint. See what I can do with that. Ooh, this looks nice. Look at that. I'm just gonna pile this on top. Strategically place it for our gorgeous photos. Yes, beautiful, beautiful. Y'all, ooh, I hope you make this recipe. I hope you dig on in. I hope you celebrate your spirit and your soul with something that is colorful, just like this beautiful bowl. <laughs> Yo, so how I did that? I be rhyming. This is this has been a really good class about rhyming. Wow, because we're aligning with that time and all the time, y'all. Okay. So I'm excited for y'all to feast, sing, dance. Check out my latest and greatest recipes coming up. There's so much vibrance, so much deliciousness that I'm about to just release onto the internet, and I'm really, really excited to share it with you all. I also have some. Oh, I've got such blessed abundant news recently and i am um, i i'm exactly <laughs> i'm burping no i'm just so 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 thrilled to get to share it in the next few weeks stay tuned it's it is an abundant blessing and the universe always provides always on time even when you doubt it even when you like i don't know is it gonna be about it this time Yo, just center yourself, focus on exactly what you need, how you're gonna get it done, and the universe will provide the gift, my loves. So, celebrate yourself today, celebrate yourself every day, every moment with your breath, with your sight, with your sound. Make this recipe, and do not forget to always sing your song, do your dance, and speak your truth. Speak it out and dance that. Ooh, in fact, this is the perfect song to play. Hey. Bye. You are a gift because you're alive. You survived. It's a piece to celebrate today. Whatever claim can be contained that your personality